Hello friends, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. We are discussing about, about the JavaScript loop, right? So we discussed about all the loops like for loop, while loop, do while loop, for in loop, for off loop. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the for each loop, right? So this loop only applicable for array. For each loops allows you to iterate over the elements of one array and execute a function for the each element okay so let's take an example so simply let's use let numbers equal to something suppose i just write 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so these are numbers and if i just going to use the for each loop simply i just using the numbers dot for each okay and here we will pass another uh, functions okay this is the callback function so simply i just write here function and i just taking this as a number and this is the function body okay so this method takes a callback function as an argument which is executed for each element of the array simply if you just write console dot log and num that time it will iterate all the elements okay so simply refresh it will getting one two three four five six okay so here we are passing the callback function okay using arrow function so we know that arrow function so using arrow function we also can do the same things so this is the simple one line code so simply if you just write here num and just use the arrow and here simply write console sorry console dot log and num okay and just refresh this you are getting same things so simply if i just add some more element you will get all the things okay now this is the basic concept now let's go for some deep concept okay so i have to get some uh, of all array elements means this is the array elements and i will get the sum of all things okay so how you can do this so simply i am taking a variable let's sum equal to zero and we have the numbers array and now i just going to write numbers dot for each and here i just going to create another function suppose uh, here write make sum this is my function name okay and here i just closing the things and this is my function name actually it's callback in callback function so simply write function make sum okay and here we will get some any variables means i just write here item and here we have a sum so simply write sum plus equal to the item which are getting from this callback right now if i just going to print the sum after the execution means for each is executing until the array is complete now i just going to console dot log and sum then what happen okay so here actually calculation happening and after the calculation happening so sum value will be changed so simply i just printing after the change so simply refresh we are getting 45 now if i just add another 10 so it should be 55 okay so in this way easily we can create a sum operation means in this way you can create our own function so this is the simple function that is the make sum you can do whatever you want you want to if you want to calculate the average marks of your student you can do you can apply this with a loop also so all the things you can do okay so let's create more difficult means suppose not make sum i want to uh, multiply the elements with 10 okay so multi 10 okay so this is the function name and here you can see these are passing and here i just doing uh, the console dot log is numbers so simply i just uh, going to make the value reformat means uh, for one it will give the output 10 
20 30 40 50 and 100 okay so in this way 100 so simply i just uh, going to use these things so here multi 10 is the item and i am taking the index and the array so what actually will create so simply just write array of index and just i want to multiply 10 with the item okay so simply just item into 10 now if i just uh, uh, going to print the main array so you will get array changed means all the array element changed and it's added uh, it's multiplied by 10 okay so you can see that so 10 20 30 40 uh, 100 right so all the things you are getting by multiplying of 10 okay so this funny this is very interesting you can do whatever you want right and still if you have any queries about this video you can comment me in a below comment section right next day we are going to discuss about more deep in javascript we will discuss about the dom this is the very important part in javascript so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye